pro-life activist shares her message about the global importance of protecting the unborn. The founder of Culture of Life Africa, Obia Nuju Ekosha, told an audience at the Jesuit Georgetown University that too often aid from Western nations is given to African nations for population control in an attempt to push African nations into accepting the culture of abortion and she encouraged the audience as American taxpayers to insist the U.S. not fund abortion organizations at home or abroad. And she is here. The founder and president of the Culture of Life of Africa joins me now. Thank you so much, Uju, Thanks for so coming much. on the program Thanks again. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me again. Your new documentary is called Strings Attached. Yes. It comes out in January. Millions of dollars from Western nations are earmarked, you say, for sexual and reproductive health. From the African perspective, what did you discover? What is this money being used for once it reaches the continent? Precisely. So, Lauren, people are paying their taxes here in the United States or other parts of the develop, developed world, and the money goes all the way to Africa. Now, when it gets there, gets to villages, it's given to uh, Western organizations who are so-called sexual and reproductive health and rights organizations like International Planned Parenthood Federation and Marie Stopes International, which is an abortion organization from the UK, then they go to these villages and uh, they destroy women's lives. So they are doing abortions uh, and, and they are giving contraceptions to women and not even uh, telling them about side effects. It's not with full informed consent. We see all kinds of horrific things and that is what I try to capture uh, in this documentary, Strings Attack. How would you like Western aid to be used instead? Well, it shouldn't be, you know, there shouldn't be a distraction from the real problems of, the, you know, being experienced in different African countries like education, uh, like real health care, food, water, basic human needs, security. These are some of the things that, uh, you know, that the funds can go, go to that w the Africans will rejoice uh, with. Yeah. We had Cardinal Napier on yesterday, and he told us that from an African perspective, one of the things that is very important is that this Synod of Youth document address not just um, extended family, but family, and that families are so important. They, they are everyone, grandparents, aunts, uncles. There is no extended family. So my question to you is, what can be done with that in mind as as it relates to the family and this docu document on the synod of you right we we the family especially in a place like africa the developing world is where you find out that the family is a real central institution within society that's where people get their first education that's where they learn about faith that's where they get their first health care family is the central core so we should concentrate to strengthen the families, to strengthen marriages, to help mothers and fathers uh, uh, be able to take care of their children, to be able to educate their children. The church should look at strengthening the family and using very strong uh, language that also emphasizes that, that the family should be right at the center, because I think that's, that's God's own design, it's family. Obia Nuju Ekosha, thank you so much thank for joining you. us, founder and president of Culture of Life Africa. Thank you very much.